Alongside the American flag, the flags of El Salvador, Guatemala, Honduras and Mexico flew high this weekend, each representing the home country of one of the six construction workers that were killed in the Key Bridge collapse. The Guatemalan flag raised just a few weeks ago out of the mural in Hawkins Point after divers recovered the last worker, Jose Lopez, from the wreckage in the Patapsico. Yesterday, friends, family and neighbors held a final vigil at the memorial. The artist behind it says for now, now the work is temporary. Until today, there's no problems with the uh, with the owner of the land. But there's there's been another places where I've been doing similar things where, you know, they give me three four days and they come, you know, and then and then throw everything in the trash. My, my art, my paintings, everything, candles, crosses, you know. So we figure we need to do something here because we don't have it. I'm only a painter. I don't I don't have any money. How am I going to continue? We've been here almost over two, uh, two months. How can we? You know, it is too difficult. And Marcus says he hopes to, to donate the work, and he's reached out to the city, state, and federal officials for assistance, but has yet to hear back. And you can find out all of our coverage, or you can find all of our coverage on the Keybridge Collapse by scanning the QR code on your screen. There you can learn more about each of the victims and take an in-depth look at what's next as the salvage operations continue.